Guys, I know that I made a rant on Jeffy, but I'm going to make this rant again, but with more details. Anyways, enjoy. Jeffy? Fuck no. More like jerky. Oh my god, this character from Super Mario Logan sucks. Here are the reasons why I hate Jeffy. 1. To get the elephant from the room, Jeffy was the character who split the SML community into factions. Jeffy has spawned some of the worst of the SML community with both his fans and his haters significantly contributing to the current negative perception of the SML fan base. 2. He is most known for being an uncontrollable, rowdy, destructive, and irritating nuisance almost 24 7, with his repetitive outbursts generally being little more than time wasters and often being more tiring and grating to watch than amusing. A majority of his jokes amount to little more than him crying, cussing out the target of his rage, destroying property for little or sometimes no given reason, annoying Mario, or in the newer videos, unfunny stock catchphrases with little variance, and it gets old fast. A couple more specialized examples of this are. In Jeffy's bath time, he threw his clothes at Mario and Rosalina, ran around naked, and pissed on Mario. In Locked Out, he wasted his peas, acts like a brat at dinner, and most notoriously, locks Mario out of his house and even gets him arrested because he wouldn't let him eat chocolate cake. In Jeffy's bad word, arguably the worst of the bunch, Jeffy repeated the homophobic F slur nonstop because of hearing Mario, and more infamously, called Mario a rapist and got him hated on a global scale simply because he justifiably spanked him for saying a slur. In Jeffy breaks his leg, after breaking his leg, he acts lazy and tortures Mario until it heals and then tries to break his leg again at the end of the video. In the baby project, he threw the baby off the balcony, threw it at the truck and threw the toaster into the water to electrocute the baby, causing it to get fried. Though, to be fair, it was a baby doll, to begin with, and not a real one and did get him an A plus from Jackie Chu. But still, it still shows how stupidly lethal and dangerous he can be. In Jeffy's Pokemon card, he destroyed Bowser Jr.'s Pokemon card. In Turkey Tyranny, he throws things around the dining room on the day of Thanksgiving. In President Jeffy, he decides to ban and destroy all schools and green beans farms, all for no good reason. In Hurricane Jeffy, he threw lots of furniture and objects around the house and destroyed a lot of household items simply because he wanted to be a hurricane. In Jeffy gets hypnotized, he throws the TV in the lake for absolutely no reason and later goes to throw a boombox. In Mr. Goodman's Revenge, he makes holes in the wall with his hammer, once again for no reason. In Jeffy's Wi-Fi problem, he broke a bunch of dishes mindlessly and drops some vases on the floor. In Jeffy's tantrum, he throws the TV off the balcony and later the couch. In Jeffy's big mess, he burnt Mario's hat, and before that makes a big mess in the kitchen with his bouncy ball. In Jeffy the sheep, he nearly gets his dad arrested, all because he wouldn't get him a PS5. In Jeffy learns manners, he throws his dinner at Mobot's face. In Invisible Jeffy, he assaults his teacher, skips school makes a mess in a sandwich shop and films a girl using the bathroom. In Jeffy's 17th birthday, he steals the sign of Taco Bell because he wasn't given hot sauce with his order. 3. As an extension of the above, during 2016-18, he would often even repeat the same lines and over and over again such as why? I don't even know, why would you do that? I didn't have to, I didn't like that, you say Jeffy's a bad boy and probably the worst of the bunch, oh, see Poppy. 4. With that said, most of his other recurring jokes aren't all that funny and rather cringeworthy. When he was first introduced, in Mario the Babysitter, they're used to an absolutely terrible and nauseating running gag of him crapping his pants and sometimes even going as far as to stick his hands in it and sniff it, Jeffy's mistake. Thankfully. These jokes mostly got phased out of the series as it went on. He frequently spanks his diaper, a joke that generally serves little purpose other than to pad out runtime. Jokes revolving around the pencil stuck in his nose. 5. Jeffy is a very clear and obvious disabled stereotype, 
which has been a major source of his controversy. While Logan has stated multiple times that Jeffy is not actually disabled and is supposed to be just stupid in a manner like Chef Boo Poo or even Mama Luigi from early Super Mario Logan videos. This has been contradicted several times in the series, notably in Jeffy's stupid home video where he is directly called mentally disabled by Brooklyn Guy, and Bowser Jr. kinda goes camping where Jeffy says I'm down. Syndrome. 6. He is an insanely unintelligent character and has shown a complete lack of common sense. A good example of his idiocy is the reason he gives for wearing his diaper on the outside of his pants, so it doesn't get dirty, in spite of the fact that the pants are still gonna get dirty and could still give him a rash, something several characters in the series have pointed out. 7. He cries frequently over stupid stuff and for no good reason especially in his older appearances, much to the point he could even give Kalu a run for his money. In fact, he makes Kalu seem more likable and mature in comparison. 8. Anytime Jeffy does anything bad, he barely gets grounded for it, and never learns his lesson, especially when Rosalina is present, as she enables his rowdy and oftentimes dangerous behavior and she occasionally even encourages it. 9. He's shown being unable to accept criticism as whenever someone calls him a bad boy, he'll start crying, wailing, and banging his head onto something. 10. Jeffy's already stupid personality was flanderized further in 2017 and 2018, the years where he was arguably at his worst, as most of his jokes, especially his swearing, his idiocy and his tantrums were taken up to 11. The flanderization combined with him starting to hog the spotlight from the other characters, including Mario, the channel namesake, he was a major factor in the perceived loss of quality as a majority of videos in that period were simply him doing the same tired, predictable jokes ad nauseum with few other characters to break up the monotony. It got to the point that Jeffy's frequently shoehorned into videos for little purpose other than driving up views and videos that have little, nothing to do with him are named after him for the same reason, x, Jeffy's paper shredder. In fact, Logan has rehashed Junior videos, but with Jeffy in them, possibly for just pleasing his fan base. Because of this, he's a great example of the worst traits of Cash Cow characters. When Mario calls out for him when he does anything bad, Jeffy, instead of crying, yells are you fucking high. 11. He has a very ugly character design, although he was originally created by Beacon Art Studios by Eva Granowitz from Etsy and not by Logan. The same person also made the original Jeffy that is used in Logan's videos and he is still very unappealing to look at. 12. While his voice is decent for the most part, he can sound shrill and annoying at times, especially when he is shouting, whining, yelling and screeching. 13. He infamously spoiled a number of kids because of his salty behavior as there are reports that kids are misbehaving because they saw Jeffy doing it. 14. He almost made a kid actually attempt suicide all because he did it in one video called Jeffy's Tantrum. Speaking of which, Jeffy's behavior in Jeffy's Tantrum started the true downfall of the series. 15. He was the main reason the original SML channel got demonetized with the infamous Jeffy's Kids video, the rough accumulation of Jeffy doing increasingly graphic and disturbing things to get a rise out of his young fans. And 16. Jeffy fails to have proper character development for numerous reasons. Jeffy titled videos do not guarantee him as the main character and only a catalyst for a different plot that has little to do with him. Despite his popularity, Jeffy never keeps his words or promises to Mario or anyone else. Two examples include Jeffy's parents, where he promised to be a good boy, and Jeffy and the Beanstalk where he promised to eat his green beans. Jeffy tends to make mostly unfunny jokes such as see Poppy and I didn't have to which are both repetitive and serve almost no purpose to his character. He is known to drag out a video with filler, such as Jeffy the pirate in the cookie jar where he spent around two minutes with jokes. And that's why Jeffy sucks. Jeffy was supposed to leave Super Mario Logan when Jeffy's parents was uploaded to YouTube. But no. His dad killed himself and his mom got arrested for child abuse.
I hope that Jeffy would leave Super Mario Logan with the stepfather. I don't know who likes this character. So I'm just going to leave it BD. Who hates this character? Vinny the PlayStation Fan 5000, Toby the Looney Tunes guy, Ice Luigi Star Pictures, Michael the Rapper Offline guy, Jack Walter, Draven Jordan, and Jeremy Sinnott, they made rants on this character. So screw Jeffy. And screw Scooter. Chef PP is 429,000 times better than Jeffy. End of rant.